welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. Tony Green right here, Psychic Medium right here. <laughs> so first and foremost, um, if you would like to join us live, you can head on over to YouTube and join in all the conversations that happen pre-show. We talk about anything and everything. You can ask questions before the show even starts. Yep. Or you can call in live. The call in number is 845-277-9131. So I just want to take a quick second and say, I apologize. I was not on air the past two weeks because I had lost my voice, which <laughs> I can't even tell you what kind of challenge that is for me. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even tell you <laughs> what kind of <laughs> personal Haiti that was to go through not being able to talk for two weeks. Um, it was crazy. It was just a little bit crazy. Um, anyway, <clears throat> the voice is back lingering symptoms but the voice is back the girl can talk now uh this morning's healing on <clears throat> tiktok is self second i don't even remember anymore i did it like 20 minutes ago i can't be expected to remember that um self-doubt or second guessing or I, I go to TikTok. Somebody go to TikTok and tell me what it is. <laughs> Okie dokie. Okay, so today I will be answering questions live from the TikTok chat. I will also be taking callers and answering their questions. If you are calling in, please have a very, very specific question. Um, and it's one question per person or one connection to a loved one on the other side. So the question can be about life, love, career, finance, any aspect at all, but one, please don't piggyback questions. Like I answer a question, then you go, could I please ask another one? No, you may not. You may not because there are a plethora of people waiting and it's not fair to them. Um, second, um, if you are on YouTube, I'm going to be going back and forth, back and forth. I go live two times a week, um, the, uh, Monday at noon, which right now, right here, Monday at noon central, and then Wednesday at 7 PM central time. So I get that daytime crowd. I can get my nighttime peeps. We're all in, we're just all in it. We're just in it. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, so first today we're going to do names. Uh, so these names could be loved ones, somebody who has passed that you know who's on the other side, or it could be your name from somebody on the other side, or one of your kiddos' names. It happens that way. The first name I keep hearing is Charlotte, Charlotte, Charlotte. The next name I'm here, the next name, Daniel or Dan, Dano. This could be the same person or it could be three different people. Um, and even if one person claims it, it could be for more than one person. So please know that. The next name I'm hearing is Tiffany, Jennifer, Gerard, James. I they're just going to go through the James, J's, J, 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 J. Okay. So... Somebody on the other side is bringing it today. Okay. Um, Antoinette and or Antoine. Okay. So that's Antoinette or Antoine. And then we have Bobby. And then we have, again, Jeffrey with a J name. Um, Lily. Lily. <clears throat> it could be Liliana or Liliana, but Lily for sure. Um, Kim, Kimber, Kimber, I think that's the kind of gun I have, a Kimber. 
Was that was that a little too much? <laughs> was that too much information? <laughs> okay. Anyway, Kim or Kimber, and then um, Destiny. Uh, and then I'm going to do two more names and then we're going to move to songs. The next name is, um, I don't know if I said this name or not, but Jerome, there are a hell of a lot of J names coming through today. Okay. And then the last name is going to be Blake. Okay. Going on to songs. Now, remember, this could be a song they loved, you loved, or this song could answer a question like if you've been wondering, what should I do, blah, blah, blah. It could be the answer to a question because they do communicate through music to us all the time, okay? So the first song and I, I, I'm hearing, and it was a song for Heather, who is on YouTube, but they're, they're still singing it, so I'm going to say it. Um, if at first you don't succeed, dust yourself off and try again. Okay, so folks, I know I can't sing, and I apologize for that, but they're going to bring it through however they want to bring it through. I don't sing on the show because I think I have a great voice, or I even like doing it. It's what they want me to do, and I tend to do what they want me to do, because if I don't, they will just force it. Anyway, it's what they do. It's how they work. And here we go. Next song is... um. I'm not the one who's so far away when the, <sighs> oh gosh, I can hear, um, I'm not the one who's so far away when the, I, that song, if you know, you know, if that song's for you, you're just going to know what it is, but they keep playing it. I, I've heard this song before. And then I hear the song, um, I'm the man in the box. <laughs> Where are they? Who is over there today? <laughs> we started so good. <laughs> we started so good with dust yourself off and start again. And we're at I'm the man in the box. <laughs> Come on, folks. Okay, seriously though. Um anything by Janet Jackson. I'm hearing Janet Jackson, anything by Janet Jackson. And the next song is, um, uh, okay. The songs went, they're, they're done singing. I think they're done singing. Okay, here we go. We're on to callers. I want to say hi to uh, Frank. Hey, Frankie. How are you? Jay Francis. Hey, Amy, Anne, Renee, um, Rebecca. Hey, Lolly, there are so many people on YouTube right now. Thank you to all the new people for joining in. So happy to have you. Now, I'm when once I go to the questions, I will do a question um, on the call log and then a question from YouTube. And please remember, people on the call log have been waiting since 15 minutes before the show started. So they've been while well, I've been answering your guys' questions, they've just kind of been sitting on hold. So the when I say your area code, please tell me your name and the um, where you're calling from and then have your exact question or connection ready. 480, what's your name and where are you calling from? Or not, 480. Yep, we're going to go to the next one. 814, what's your name? Where are you calling from? I wonder if um I wonder if Blog Talk's having an issue today. 814. So if anybody's on um Blog Talk and YouTube, can you please let me know so I can click you just to see if they are having an issue. Yeah, I, the, the callers aren't coming through. Um, there's like nothing, nothing. If you're on Blog Talk and you can hear me, um, hang up and call back in 480 and 814 to see if it's a better connection. In the meantime, I'm going to go over to uh, la, 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 la. 
la la oh la thank you that song is for somebody um renee wants to know <clears throat> hi tony pregnant with my first child congratulations renee Will I be having a healthy boy or girl? Oh, you do not want to ask me that. <laughs> Hoping all goes well with my pregnancy. Thank you. How far along are you, Renee, is my first question. Um, so, Renee, I'm going to say this, but I, I, you know, you might not only have one child. I don't mean twins. I mean, you might have a child later on. What I'm seeing is a baby with a, a very light blue little beanie hat on um very long very long baby this baby is but it's not right out the womb it's like in your arm and sitting up a little bit i feel like based on the color it might be a boy I'm not looking at any private parts here um what I'm going to say is I see it's just in a, a onesie, a light blue onesie and a light blue uh, beanie little, you know, those little hats they put over the little beanie babies. It's just, it has a, it's all light blue with, I think, a touch of white. So that would lead me to believe it's going to be very, very healthy, very healthy and strong, very strong. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah. Yeah. And um, I, yeah, I'm going to go out on a limb here, even though I've, I've been wrong in the past when I try to see, I'm going to say that this, it, it's really super possible. This is going to be a little guy, a little guy, because I'm hearing all boy names with it. So we'll see. Um, but you'll know soon. In, they're saying you're going to know soon enough. You're going to know soon enough. And in when when he's, you know, while you're carrying him, he's going to kick super hard. Oh, it might be a boy because they just said he. Oh, I love it. Um, yeah, he's going to kick super hard, like, like a kickboxer or something like that. They're saying, hey, Tanita. Um, okay, I'm, uh, I called in. I called to test it's your sounds normal on there. Okay, everything sounds normal. I'm gonna try one more time. Um 480. Dun 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 480. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Mm, still nothing. We're gonna go uh try 814 one more time. 814, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Yeah, it's it's absolutely nothing. I'm gonna try the next caller just to make sure you guys. Hi. Four one seven. Yes. Yes. Woo. Four one seven. What's your name? Where are you calling from? I was starting to panic a little bit. What's your name? Where are you calling from, love? Uh oh, my name is Linda. I'm actually from um, North Carolina. And um, my question for you is, um, currently I live, I'm not live, I'm sorry, I'm visiting my son and daughter-in-law at their house, and I will be bringing our granddaughter back to her house for a little while. Will she be coming back with us permanently, um, then also to the mom and has some mental and physical issues that she's dealing with? Honestly, we really would like to, her to live with us if we can. Um, but what only we're okay with her living here only if she can function as a wife and a mom, you know. Okay, so um, what I'm getting that that was kind of two parts, and I'm gonna try to break down both parts. The granddaughter. Oh, um, I feel like the granddaughter is gonna be with you for a while. It might be a long while. Um, I feel like okay. mom is going to try to do what she can. Um, mm -hmm. But I don't, I think even if granddaughter goes back, she's going to end up back with you. Mom, I feel like will not go with you because she can't do what she wants or live how she wants is the message I'm getting. 
I feel like there are things that uh-huh. she does that she doesn't want people to know. Like I hear that song up all night, sleep all day. So whatever her habits are, um, she can kind of easily live her lifestyle without question or, um, I'm going to use the word persecution, even though you really wouldn't, um, on her own, she can, she can be an adult teenager. Oh, that is a beautiful, oh, my, my, my. She can be an adult teenager where she is, where if she comes by you, she'll be expected to be an adult adult. Okay. Now that we have that (laughs) done. And there it is, folks. And there it is. Um, if she's with, <laughs> she might come, she might come visit for a minute, but she's going to want to go back. And herein lies the issue. She will miss her daughter, your granddaughter, but um, knows the situation with you having the granddaughter is the best. But there's a part of her that feels like, well, I should be doing this. But she goes into these time lapses where yeah. where it seems like a day went by, but it was really a month. So just, you know, um, take if you take the granddaughter for visits and then just go back, I think that you will have primary care of the granddaughter, if that makes sense to you. I hope that makes sense yeah. to you. I hope it does. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, Excellent. it does. Okay, Linda, I truly hope that was helpful. I hope it answered all of your questions. Yes, it was. Excellent. And you can please. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Absolutely my pleasure. Anytime you need, please feel free to call back in again, okay? Thank you. Thank you so much. You... You're always the best. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to go. Now I'm going to come back online and see where the next question is. Um, uh, Fawn says she's 530. That must be a little bit further down. I'm gonna get to you. Mike 480, phone out, out, phones out, out. Okay, I'm 623. Everybody's telling me their area code. I love that. Now let me get to the area codes then. Uh, La, 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 la. Oh my gosh, there's like, there's so, so many, Oh my gosh, there's just so many people here. Okay, so I'm going to try to go in order, everybody. Um, I'm going to try to go in order. Um, 205, what's, what's, what's your, um, hey, 205, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Yeah, see, folks, I don't. Hi, thank you, Tony, for taking my call. Um um, Patricia is calling from Alabama, and my question is, um, my uncle, uh, my sister and I are going for guardianship. Um, we are scheduled for a um, hearing on October 26th. Um, we were supposed to have one this past Thursday, but we didn't uh, get the document from the doctor like we were supposed to. We're sort of getting, um, uh, um, how can I say this? Someone is fighting on the guardianship. And so I just want to know, do you see when we go on October 26th that we will gain guardianship over my 75-year-old uncle, our 75-year-old uncle? Okay, so... Please and thank you. Oh, you're so welcome, sweetie. And um, here's what I'm getting. You eventually will get guardianship. It's going to take a little bit longer than you think. You have to be willing to be in it for the long game and not the short game. Um, I do feel like when you go... On the 26th, they're going to be looking over everything, but they they may not decide on that day. And they may ask for certain things, again, that you have not brought. So if I, one of the things you might want to do is to go online and look at anything and everything in your state that they could possibly ask you to bring 
and make sure that you have it available. Um, I'm going to say one of the things I'm hearing, and then I, I know that you will have this. It's not going to mean what you think it means, I think. Proof of residency. So what this may mean is if you're taking guardianship, you may have to be able to prove how you're going to residency for him, where you're going to put him, how you're going to put him, what you're going to do. I, I'm not sure, but I just keep hearing proof of residency. So make sure you have your plan in place and you can show that plan, whatever that plan is. Okay. Um, I feel like for and for his okay and for his condition whatever his condition is you're going to have to prove that where okay prove wherever his residency is it's going to be the appropriate care so like if you're saying we want him to live with us or i want him to live with me we're going to have these health care workers coming in or we want to put him in this facility because it has the best health care possible, okay? So that's, maybe that's the proof of residency, but there that's the statement I'm hearing. So make sure that you have, you answer questions before they ask them is what I'm getting. You're going to want to answer the questions before they ask them. These are the arrangements that we are looking at and we could have in place at this time. Um, so that that's what, what I'm hearing love. And that's what I'm getting. So if you want him to be able to stay where he is, but you're just taking power of attorney, you have to, you're going to have to prove the care that you're bringing in. But if you want to move him, you're going to have to prove the care and you're going to have to prove why. Ah, oh, that's what I'm getting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I understand. He's going back home to his home. He was removed out of his home, so he's going back. And they do want to know how, you know, will we have caregivers in place? I will okay. be one, and I am interviewing other caregivers um, for him to be able to go back to his home. He wants to go back to his own home. Yeah. He don't it, want to live with anyone. He wants people to come in. So, yes, I fully understand. Perfect. Make sure you have them lined up from when you go into court that you have them lined up from day one and that you can prove 24-hour <clears throat> care if necessary. Okay, love? Yes. Thank you so much, Tony. I love you. You're okay. always... Oh, God, the angel of messages. <laughs> Thank, <laughs> Thank you. you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. And I will tell you, that's all my messages come from angels and loved ones that are on the other side and God. So thank you. And that is such a confirmation for me. And um, thank you so much, dear. I love you too. And you have an amazing Bless rest you. of the day. Okay, sweetie? You as well. You as well, Tony. You as well. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, guys, I'm going to go to a YouTube question. Okay, I had to remember where I left off on the phone because sometimes I forget. Uh, <clears throat> Tanita wants to know, could I please have a message from any of my loved ones that passed? Okay, Tanita, can you please give me... Um, a first name and a relationship of a loved one because I need to start in the energy that way. I can tell you, Tanita, I see a thin older woman, like a grandma age or a mom age, depending on how old you are, but she's thin and I hear the term house coat, like she's wearing, you know, those, um, those um, dresses that they would wear around the house but it was just like a you know whatever house house not like a robe we wear today but back in the day I see that but if you could just please give me a first name and a re and the relationship that would be great I can tap into somebody for sure now next to her is a man who is thin and taller 
I feel like I've seen this man a couple of times. I feel like he's come in a couple of times for a couple of people, but he had hair up until he passed. He had hair. He was a little older also, but he had hair up until he passed. Oh, okay. Tanita. Yes. See, this is why we do this because you, I feel like your grandparents or great, your parents, grandparents were coming in and you want to talk to your boyfriend. Okay. So Tanita, the first thing I hear <clears throat> is a song. I hear a word. I, I, okay. So Tanita, the first thing I hear is review, review, not review, review. I know what that means. And then I hear the word revolution and then the song. So you say you want a revolution away. We all, um, we all want to something. Okay. Okay. So here's what I'm going to say. He is right now going through a review He's still around you. Don't get me wrong. Okay, please, please don't get me wrong, love. He's still around you. He is going through a um, review process on the other side. And he is um, ele elevating. So once you're my understanding from what I've heard and the way I explain it may not be the same way other people explain it. But once you're on the other side and you've been there for a minute or so, they have a different type of timeline than we do. They don't, they don't really have time. You go through a thing where you review, but you, you've gone through the process of um, if there was any harm or pain or suffering, you've gone through the process of fixing that while you're on the other side and then of equaling the scales, balancing the scales. And then you go through a review and see where you can go and what you can do next to help those that are still here. Well, kind of, kind of an, uh, an assignment review, if you will, is what I'm hearing right now. Um, but you will be feeling him tomorrow night again, feeling him a little bit stronger tomorrow night with a um, maybe a dream, but not really a sleep like um, an, um, uh, it, just my imagination running away with me. So like um, in your imagination, You'll be like, uh, like if you zone out and you, you are having memories or just seeing him, it's going to be like that. It will be very, very strong tomorrow night. Um, not yet tonight, but if it comes tonight, remember they don't have timeline, but tomorrow night will be the, the time that that comes in the strongest for you. And then it should stay consistent. Okay, that's what I'm getting, Tanita. Thank you so much for, for that. Um, the next caller is 216. 216, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. I actually put my message in the YouTube. I thought it'd be easier for you. Okay, hi. What's your name, love? Let me just ask you. Did I, did I already Sharon. answer your question? I don't think so. Okay. What's your name, love? I can ask you. That's okay. 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 I know. Sorry about that. Oh, <laughs> it's God. okay. <laughs> my name is Sharon, and my question to you is, do you see maybe in the next three to six months be posting for a new position in my company and getting it? Okay. Yeah. Okay. I feel like in November, in October... There won't be a posting you're really interested in. November, no. Um, December, yeah. But in January, there's going to be, it'll either be the end of December, beginning of January, where there will be a posting that is going to be a relevant posting for you. Okay, sweetie?
Okay. So that is the answer for her. And I think she had to take a call at work. So <laughs> thank you so much <laughs> for calling in and, um, and um, asking your question. Sal says, I was thinking about taking on, taking an acting class. Any thoughts? Will this help me with starting a podcast? No, Sal, you got everything you need. You've got everything you need. Just go for it. You don't need the acting class. Just um, be you. Be as genuinely you as you can. Um, it, they, it, I, I think an acting class will get in the way of it. Just get on and be you. You're not going to be as nervous as you think you're going to be, and it's all going to come out beautifully. Okay? I'm going to go to 475. I think I am. 475, what's your name and where are you calling Hello? from? Hi there. Hello, my name is Tanuja and I'm calling from Connecticut. And how can I help you, love? Hello? Hello. Yeah, mine yes. is just a short. Hello, um, mine is just a short question is that I would like uh, the most relevant message I can get from my guardian angel or from my spirit guide which would be like more most appropriate for this time in my life when I'm very frustrated. Okay, thank you. Um, okay, so the first thing I, I'm hearing quite a bit, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a clearing uh, for frustration. So we're going to clear all stress, uh -huh. frustration, all of that to let that go. But then the message that they want to tell you is this, and I'm I'm sorry, I have to say this. Whatever is stressing you out or making you frustrated in five years, will you even remember it? I don't love that message okay. because I would be so much, I would be like, who cares about five years? It's bothering me now. They're saying everything is gonna work out. You don't need to worry so much about this. I know it seems very overwhelming right now, um, but if you if you go inside of yourself, you're going to find the answer immediately. Um, you just have to um, push aside some of the frustration, and then it will be so clear to you. I hope that makes sense, love. I really hope that makes sense to you. Yeah, I'll have to think about it. <laughs> I really, you know, I'll have to meditate upon this message. Yeah, because and my I, life, you know. I think that one of the things that they're Hello? saying is um, when we get in that place where we're frustrated, it stops all of our messages. It stops all of our information. And we just have to like, I don't want to say just breathe, but we do have to go into that meditation. We do have to go within. We have to uh, be there for a minute and then like a light bulb going on, the answers will be there, okay? And I, I just keep hearing whatever this is, it's going to pass very quickly for you and you don't need to worry about it, okay? It's going to go very, very quickly. Okay. And, you, and it will be gone. Okay, sweetie? Yes. So did you do that clearance for my frustration? I did. It it might take a minute. So when I say uh, we are frustrated, I get yes. Uh, all that cause and kept this clear, heal, release it. So it will start to go. You should feel it going very quickly. Um and I, the one thing I, I am also hearing is don't live minute by minute. And we tend to do that. Uh, we're supposed to live in the moment, but not, um, not hold on to the moment, if that makes sense for you. Okay. I hope that makes okay. sense. I hope I said yeah. that correctly, too. Thank you so much for calling in. I'm really grateful that you did. Thank you. Thank you for taking my call. I appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Y y absolutely my pleasure. And you have an amazing day. And the clearings I do on the show, they are for the caller or the, the person on YouTube, but therefore they are for everybody. 
So everybody who is hearing it, seeing it, whether you're watching this show on TV <clears throat> or listening to it on the radio or a podcast, you will get that clearing also. So Lisa, Lisa, do I have a message from any loved ones? Lisa, can you do me a favor? Can you give me an exact name of a loved one just to start there? Um, because I want to make sure, like sometimes, like with Tanita, there's a specific person you want to hear from, but other people, <clears throat> other people are coming through. Um, so a name, Sandra, and who is Sandra to you? Um, I see somebody with dark hair. Um, I hear the word. <laughs> I don't want to even say that word. <laughs> um, I feel like when, okay, then I can say it. I can say it. So Sandra is a good friend. I feel like the first thing I see is somebody, I don't know if she originally had dark hair or whatever, and voluptuous. Now, if that's not her, that's you. <laughs> so I'm sorry. <laughs> Lisa, please let me, please let me know in the chat. Uh, what I'm hearing from Sandra is, um, the first thing she's bringing through is a song. Um, and I know this song, but I'm not getting all the words. Uh, oh gosh, I can't, I can't hear the words. I can hear the beat, but I can't, I can't hear the words. Um, anyway, she's bringing through a song that was like a, like a happy go lucky song. Like, um, I'll have to come back to it. But the the first thing I'm hearing from Sa there's like almost like every time she goes to say something, it gets stopped. Uh, and Or she's sending me this song and then it gets stopped. I don't know if this had something to do with uh, how she, what was going on toward the end or what. But the, the communication keeps getting cut. The communication keeps getting cut, which is very abnormal for me because I can... I can talk to almost anybody on the other side, even animals. So what I'm going to say, is, uh, Sandra, what do you, what would you want Lisa to know? What's the most important? I love her. What's the, what's the next most important thing? Uh, <laughs> it's the song, something, something good time. She had such a good time with you. Like the, the um, some of her, if I were to put my spin on that, I would say some of her best memories were with you. Um, and that's a song I couldn't get earlier. It, and I can't even get the whole song. It's just that, that not, not a good time. And a guy sings it and I know I'm not doing it justice. Nobody in the world is going to know what song that is. Okay, what's the next thing you would want to say to her, Sandra? Take care. Take care of you. Take care of the, the, bo the boy. Take care of the boy. Um, and what else, Sandra? Give her one more message. She's singing that song, Don't Cry For Me, Argentina. So don't, don't be too sad over her passing. Don't, don't spend time in uh, too much mourning for her. And then, okay, I'm going to give one more because I, I don't want that to be the last thing you say to her. What's the last thing you would like to, for today? Well, you can come back Wednesday. We'll talk to her again for today. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, Lisa. This is her next message to you. <laughs> Take it on the run, babe. If that's the way you want it, babe. And I don't know why she is laughing so hard at this. I think that's Ario Speedwagon. Um, uh, take it on the run. Like, that should mean something to you. I, and she's laughing at that. And so that must, that's something I think, if that doesn't make sense to you, I apologize. It will soon. It will soon it will soon um does anybody know did i do 631 yet did i take 631 yet we're about to find out aren't we 631 hello, six hello. hi what's your name where are you call oh 
six three one is gone <laughs> five one nine it just dropped she probably lost me five one nine what's your name and where are you calling from hi tony it's jennifer hey jennifer how are you <laughs> good thank you um i just gotta turn off the volume it's very quiet um i was questioning i've got a lot of anxiety lately and it's for no reason and there's this sense of dread and foreboding is that just me or is just am i just picking up energies around me um i think everybody is feeling some level of anxiety but there is something that is going on there's an, um, ah, okay, so what I'm hearing as far as you go, there might be an underlying issue that you kind of don't want to look at, but you're going to have to, something coming up that you're kind of like, yeah, I know it's coming up. I don't really want to deal with this. Um, so uh, what, but what I'll do right now for you and everybody else, um, Jennifer, let's clear anxiety, all anxiety all that caused it, all that's kept it, all that allows it. Let's clear all of that. And let's, let's get it, let's get it gone. So what I see you guys, it's so crazy when I do clearings and what I see, um, every time they show me different ways that they're pulling stuff out of people. So the, the anxiety, the way they're pulling it out is like with a big, super duper industrial, more than industrial uh, vacuum. It's bigger than a house and they're just like <laughs> sucking it all out of people. So let it go. Just let them take the anxiety. Let them have it. We don't need it. Everything is going to be okay. No matter what you're hearing, what you're seeing. And I would say minimize media intake no matter what media you listen to i'm not just talking about you know evening news and stuff even commercials if it's if if it's not pure music that you love song after song after song minimize media intake um and and just f watch comedies um and stuff because right now that's really what we need to raise our frequency, raise our vibration to get us back to where we're supposed to be. So um, Jennifer, we're going to clear this. And there is something coming in that is uh, uh, not your, it's either something, this is how I'm going to say it. It's either something that has been brought up and there's a fear like, oh, not this again, like not the whole, I don't even want to give it any power by saying it thing again, but, or there's something in your personal life that is on its, like you're, you're already aware of it, but you're like, oh, I don't, I don't really want to. I don't really want to deal with this. So whatever that is for you, Jennifer, that's what I'm getting. I hope this was helpful. And this clearing will keep going until it pulls as much out of it as you can let go of at this time. Okay. Thank you, Tony. And when you were doing the clearing, I did feel something in my neck. So I'm one. Yeah. I'm thinking that whatever it was, was the result of the clearing trying to push through. I love that. Thank you so much. Thank you. That is, that's, it's amazing. Thank you. It's amazing what they, what, how people feel it. If anybody else is feeling it, please, 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 please let me know. I'm happy when that, um, when people feel it and I know that everybody's getting, getting it. So thank you so much, Jennifer. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I am going to go to the next. Hey, Patrick, how are you? Have you been out golfing, Patrick? It seems like you've been out golfing a lot. Um, oh, you were sick last week too. Oh, you have been missing. See, Patrick was sick too. Did you lose your voice too, Patrick? <laughs> um, uh, okay, Sharon, sorry. Sh Sharon is saying she's sorry she got cut off. That's okay. I still answered the question for you. I'm going to go to the next ca caller. Is it 805? Does it 814? I think it's 814. Does anybody know? Is it 814? Yeah, I lost my voice for like two weeks, Patrick. It's just coming back. 
Yeah, same exact thing. See, it's just going around our neighborhood, everybody. Um, did I just do 814 or is it time for 805? Where are my folks? I'm not on top of my game yet. I am not. Here we go. We're just going to find out. 814, where are you from? What's your name? Hi. Hi. Hi, this is Amy, and I'm calling from Pennsylvania. Hey, Amy, how can I help you today? I'm calling to see how you feel. How does my current boss feel, like, feel about my work and that? Good. Uh, good. Good. Um, I get a strong feeling. I also get that your boss has other things going on right now. Um, it might be something in the personal life or something personal with work. So whatever's going on with your boss, just here's the, um, your name is Amy, right? Yes. Okay. I'm so sorry, Amy. Um, this is the best advice that they can give you. Go into work, work your booty off, you know, in your allotted time and go home. Your boss has something going on that it might be something that is, it, it's something that does not involve you, but you might be noticing it because it's carrying over, okay? So sometimes when people have personal things going on in their life and they try to separate, they can't, but what I'm getting, just go in, do your job. Don't, don't talk to anybody at work about this, just, do you go in and, and don't say anything and then go home and you will be just fine. Um, he likes your work. I hear it's strong and it's good and you don't have anything to worry about. Um, just stay out of what they're calling coffee clutches. I hope that makes sense to you. It does. Okay. It does. Uh, but I work. I do work from home though. But I, that, I, I understand what that means. Okay. Because it was bad where I last worked. Yes. Okay. About people always into other people's business. Yes. Yes. And go ahead. Yeah. So since you work from home, just do your work, do your job. It's good. It's strong. Whatever's going. If they're, if you're getting a weird vibe from your boss, it's because of something that has absolutely nothing to do with you. But he, your boss, likes your work and it is strong. Just keep it that way, okay? Okay. Whew. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. You are welcome. You are welcome. Okay, everybody, if there's not a question on the log, 805 is next. So remind me of that before I get lost. Uh, okay. Amy wants to know any info, any something, my current romantic relationship, are we a good match? Oh my goodness. Amy, Amy has a boyfriend. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm so immature. Congratulations. Okay, so Amy, don't get too serious too fast. Don't um, bump, chick a bump, bump too quickly. <laughs> God, I, I, it comes off so immature, but really they're just going for hilarious. Amy, it's seemingly good, but go slow because I feel like, um, I just feel like you need to take your time and find out a lot about this person before you invest too many feelings. Not that you're gonna do do not that you're gonna find out anything horrible or bad. It's you know, we all have our individual personalities of what we we match and what we don't and what types of relationships we want and don't you might want this, they might want that. And the slower we go in the beginning, um, the more time we take to get to know the person, um, the better it can be in the long run. Now remember. I know sometimes um, that we we just want to get in and get it done and let this be the person. But remember, if it is the person, there's no hurry. They're going to be there. 
right? They're, they're just going to be, if this is your person, like if I were to meet someone and it were my person, I wouldn't have a problem going slow because I would know if you truly are my person, we have the rest of our lives. I don't need to rush into anything with this. We can take our time, get to know each other, and neither one of us are going to be jumping out of it because it's not going fast enough. If you're going to jump out because it's not going fast enough, guess what? You weren't my boo thing. And it ain't no big thing. And that's it. So just take your time with it. Get to know who they are as a person before all of that. Okay, love? Okay, okay. Um, I'm going to go to, I said 805, right? 805. 805. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Okay. We're going to go to the next caller who is 610. 610, what's your name? Where are you calling Hello? from? Hello. Hi. Uh, yes, uh, this is... Uh... Sarah, I'm calling from New Jersey. Hey, Sarah. How can I help you today? Um, I'm calling because I just wanted to see what you're picking up with my current relationship with my uh, partner. Um, I'm in a my partner is a female. Okay. And uh, you know something transpired about a week ago. I just been wanting to get into it. I just wanted to see what you're picking up as far as the current relationship. We're still living together, by the way. So. Okay, so the first thing I hear is a song, and the song is, um, I, I'm going to tell you the song, and if it makes sense for you, you can tell me, and then I'll give you the message. But the, the song usually is the beginning of the message. It's, Annie, are you okay? Are you okay? Annie, are you okay? You've been hit by a smooth criminal. So that's the song that they're bringing throughout the beginning of it. I think one of you might be a little bit more savvy than the other one when it comes to communicating or how to communicate in a relationship or how to say things in a relationship. Now I'm going to I'm going to say something here. This could be from a past experience or the current experience because I don't want to upset anybody or um, accuse anyone of anything. But I think somebody in this situation might be a really good talker. They might be able to man manipulate conversations in a certain direction or make the other person a little bit confused about things like wait did that was that now if i'm wrong about that i apologize but if you sit back and you might see that the, what i'm going to tell you is where it's going to go from here okay if there is a case where somebody is a very smooth talker can communicate really well and the other person is not as good of a talker, I would say pull out a notebook and only write things back and forth to each other to resolve issues. And that way both of you are heard, you understand what's being said, and it's all right there on paper. I feel like this is gonna blow over, but I do feel like communication does need to get better between the two of you. There might be misunderstandings in words and or phrases and i also feel like that if there is somebody else and i don't mean like a third lover i mean like a friend a family member who's putting their input in that and that could be the person who's a smooth talker also then you guys need to agree how you you need to come to an agreement on how much input that third party gets to have and if it's possible to you know if it's a family member it's not always easy to get them out but this third party has a vested interest in the third party whoever this other person is they're like they're just a they're a poop thrower they're just a poop thrower and that is not the 
That is not the term I would use, but this show does air on TV, so I have to be hella careful how I say things. But they like to start. It's like they like, ah, oh, give me something I can, what they like, they're just a trouble starter. They like to like an antagonist. They're an, they're like an antagonist and the way they say things can, can start problems between people. So you and your partner have to come together and kind of gently discuss that dynamic and go forward from there. Okay. Okay. Well, um, the reason why I ask is what you, I mean, about the direction, are we going to stay together or separate? Because what I discovered last week is that I discovered an infidelity. Okay. So that's the deal here. <clears throat> so that's the poop starter. Um, the, the third party. Um... I can tell you what me and 99% of the population would say. I can tell you what spirit would say, but what I'm going to tell you is what you're going to try to do. Everybody would say, just jump out because there was an infidelity. If it happens once, it's going to happen again. It's good. And it is this person, this third party isn't going any place, no matter what they say. I'm sorry, I'm going to I'm going to be blatantly and brutally honest. The third party isn't going any place, doesn't want to, doesn't care. The third party, even if your partner says, "No, we have to quit." That third party will keep creeping around, okay? So I would say it's in your best interest for your mental health to try to figure out how you can get to a place where you feel safe and secure. If that means on your own and single, that's the most important thing to do. Now, I'm going to say this, the only abuse in relationships is not physical abuse. There's the abuse of infidelity. And a lot of people don't look at that as an abusive behavior, but it 100% is abuse. Because Somebody who is trusting you 100%, you just took their safety and their security and you pulled it out from under them. Everything they thought they had in this relationship as far as trust and um, where the future was going was just ripped out and it leaves that person in a very uh, unstable place, okay? You have to decide where you can go with that. I'm going to tell you at this moment, you're trying to figure out how to make it work out, okay? The other person is not worried about that, okay? The other person is not worried about that at all. The other person is um, in a space where whatever happens, happens, is the best, nicest way I can put that on the air. You're a little bit more invested in this situation seconds. than they are. Uh, because whether you stay or go, they still have someone. And the only way you can get equal footing again or leverage is to completely separate, which when you're living with someone can be a little bit difficult. Um, <clears throat> because there will be a lack of respect if you don't. I think you're going to try to make this work. That's what I'm seeing on your end. Seconds. But, and however, even though you try to make this work, that third person isn't going any place. Even if they both say the third person is, that third person isn't going any place. And I'm really sorry that's the message I have to give you today. But I hope that message helps you make a healthy decision for you. Because at the end of the day, you have to wake up, go to sleep with, and live with you. Anybody else is a choice that you bring. Mm -hmm.